every day I wake up to over a thousand dollars in print and demand sales on products that I never have to design myself nowadays, print myself, ship myself, all because I do AI generated print on demand products. Well, no, my store wasn't built on AI products. It actually started before AI. Majority of my newest best sellers were all created or influenced by AI to some degree. So in today's video, I am showing you how to craft and create and research to be able to create AI designs that are going to become your next best seller. The first thing that you need to do is start off with research. Even with AI, I like to make sure that everything that I'm doing is backed by research first and then I start creating. I have found when I just try to start from nothing, an idea that's in my head, usually there's aren't the listings that quickly become bestsellers. Because it is currently end of August as time of filming, this will probably be released in September, fall is here or at the very beginning at least. So fall shirts are doing super well, but if you even wanted help just coming up with ideas for niches to start with, you could go right to ChatGPT and ask for a list of current relevant niches that maybe you could be designing in. But to start off with research, I know I want to start with a fall shirt. So what I'm going to do is just look up fall shirt right here and let's see what's currently doing really well. And to do that, I'm going to be using my ever be extension here here and going to product analytics. And then I'm just going to sort by the current amount of monthly sales. And I also like to add a filter just so I'm looking at listings that were recently created so that I know I still have a chance to be successful with these. So in ever be here, I'm going to go to filter and then I am going to under listing age, I'm going to go to a max of three months old. And for this one, I'm also going to exclude the word mock-up just because I was getting a bunch of mock-up files for shirts, which I'm not looking for. I am looking for other print on demand sellers. And now now I can start going down these listings and I want to find different designs that I can apply to be my own. So maybe instead of a fall shirt, I want it to be a Halloween shirt or a Thanksgiving shirt. Let's take a look at this one, for example, because I've seen this stamp style doing really, really well. And it's actually pretty hard to make on your own. So what we can do is save this image here. And don't worry, we are not actually copying the exact style from this person, but we're just using it to help us create a prompt to create our own version. So what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this design here. This design I've actually also seen on Creative Fabrica. So if you want to go get the original PNG file, you can find it on Creative Fabrica as well. But what I'm going to do is open up ChatGPT and then you can upload the design. I actually uploaded the Creative Fabrica PNG, but if you don't have the original PNG or it is just a design you found online, you can upload the picture and just say describe this as the graphic design only and make sure that it's not counting or describing the shirt behind it or make sure at least your screenshot is of only the graphic design and use the keyword ask it to make this image a graphic design prompt. So for in ChatGPT, I uploaded the photo and I said describe this image as a detailed AI prompt and it gave me a long prompt down here in which I can now go and edit to be my own. So I have two choices in here. Either I can go in and manually put in what I want in each stamp, for example, or what I can do instead is below, I said, rewrite that prompt to make it Christmas themed. And now it spit back out a brand new prompt down here. And I am going to go copy this. You can also read it over, make sure that it's correct. Sometimes they're kind of off, or maybe you want to just change the vibe of it to make it your own. You can add a distressed look to it. You can make it more muted tones, ask for it to be more pastel, any way that you envision this, making it for yourself. And now in chat GPT, what I like to do is create a brand new chat. So it's actually not referencing the earlier photo. Otherwise it's still going to use that photo as a reference because it's in that chat, but I want to create still my own version of this design. So what I've done is I pasted in that new version of the prompt and changed it to Christmas themes, read it over and scrolling down. I asked it to create image and this was the brand new stamp image that I've created for a brand new holiday. And if you compare them side by side, they're actually pretty different. The vibe of them is different. This one's a little bit more muted tones. We've got completely different images 
in here and it doesn't look like I just grabbed that person's image and said, use this but make it Christmas themed. It still looks like this is something that's a brand new design, just following a trend that's doing really well right now. Now that I do have a design I am happy with, it looks like my own design. It actually is very different from the original one, but it just helped me create a prompt to create that original one. So I've gone and changed it up to make my own style following a trend that's working, but it is still my own applied to brand new niches. I want to create different variations of this. So I didn't do all of this just for one design, I'm going to create a bunch of designs off of this. The problem is ChatGPT still I don't find is the best for creating similar designs. I find it changes things too much. In fact, for this project here, I asked it to create me a version that is Thanksgiving themed. I didn't love the way it turned out. It has a habit of cutting things off. So I tried hitting the reference. So I actually clicked in the image and said, zoom out remove the Christmas hat on the turkey and it gave me some random man and did not zoom out. Then I tried referencing the original photo and I still got this design, but it looks like it still tried to include random Christmas stuff, like a snowman that became Halloween themed or Christmas themed. So I'm actually not that big on using ChatGPT itself to use a reference photo. I use it more to craft a prompt to create one really good design that I'm happy with. And then I I'm actually going to take this to a different platform. So this is where I find Kittle actually better than ChatGPT at creating different variations from an original design. Again, I don't want to be using someone else's original design as my reference photo. It's going to be too similar. It's going to be obvious to them that you took from them. Use ChatGPT to create a brand new prompt, change it up, create your own, then use this as a reference photo to create a bunch of different similar designs. Another option is you could use ChatGPT itself to create that prompt and then bring that prompt over to Kittle AI. The problem is the Kittle AI takes max a thousand characters and for a lot of prompts, they're a lot longer than this. You can go to ChatGPT and ask it to re-rate a prompt to be less than a thousand characters, which I've done here. So first I'm actually going to test this. Let's see what this does. If we actually create the original design right from Kittle, we just grabbed the prompt from ChatGPT. Let's see what that gives us. That it's actually given us also a really cool result. I actually really love the way that this looks right here. So if you want, you can just skip right to using the prompt in the Kittle AI over here. Or if you want to do again, start your original from ChatGPT, what we're going to do is let's pretend that we're just starting from this image, going to our artboards. We are going to click on the artboard and using the Kittle AI, which you are going to need credits to use, but this is the most popular way that I use AI right now to create tons of designs at once. And scrolling down, I'm going to hit add smart board. And now in the smart board, I'm going to type, make this Thanksgiving themed using the same style. And I'm going to make sure this is high. This is going to use more credits, but again, this is something that I use a lot. And I do want it to be high quality in case I want to print this one. And I also want to make sure it's a transparent background because we want to put this on a shirt or a sweatshirt and I'm going to hit generate. And now this is the result that I got on the first try. The reason I love Kittle over ChatGPT for when using reference images is because there is rarely out of pocket things that just show up in your design. The turkeys make sense. The pies make sense versus ChatGPT doesn't always get what you want. And then it's hard to recreate the photo. So I'm not that big on the ChatGPT for this, but Kittle gets me the best results of anything that I've tried using these flows or these smart boards. And then all at the same time, you can run multiple smart boards to turn this design into a bunch of different niches. So for example, at the exact same time as I had it creating my Thanksgiving one, I had it create me a New Year's themed one. So I have now this New Year's version that still looks extremely similar to my original reference photo. It didn't take creative liberties and change up my whole design. It literally just changed the theme. And then scrolling down, I also had it create a Halloween themed one. I just said, 
make this Halloween themed. Looks exactly the same, different colors, but it looks like it was made by the same person. Here's another Thanksgiving one that I got when I ran it, also turned out really well. But the results that I get for this are usually perfect right off the bat. So this is how I create a design based on a trend that creates my own prompt that I can change up to be my own, to apply it to brand new niches. And then when I have a research design that's my own, I apply it to tons of different niches to get out a bunch of listings at once. And this has sped up my designing process tenfold this year compared to last year. There were so many different design styles that were just outside of my technical capabilities and trends that I couldn't hop on versus now in 2025 with especially Kittle flows and the ability to craft prompts using ChatGPT, people can design bestsellers faster than ever. And if you not only want to speed up your designing, but also your listing and getting extra help and utilizing AI to the best of its capabilities, I have this video up next about how the top 1% of sellers do use ChatGPT to skyrocket their business. So I highly recommend you give that a watch. And if this video helped you at all, if you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week.